Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Spartan Warrior 117 signing in for another Halo 3 review and boy do I have a surprise for you guys. Um I went I went to the nearby city and uh, picked up a very awesome Halo figure, so I'd like to share that with you guys right now. I picked up the Halo 3 Hunter that came out very awesome figure you guys I love the box too it's very cool a nice little aquarium style box uh, figures worth 25 halo points if you're wondering so let's go on and get this bad boy out of the box huh? opens up right from the bottom so you don't have to ruin the box And um, the back spines on his, the spines on his back are, they don't come attached to the figure. They come in a little baggie like this. So you have to put those on. And um, but they just pop right in. So you just pop them right in. This figure is stands about eight to nine inches tall and is absolutely beautifully detailed um, these go for twenty five dollars so they're kind of expensive I'm one to buy two because hunters they come in pairs so you can't have one without the other but this figure is humongous, absolutely beautifully detailed. Um, the uh, we'll go on and start with the, the plate. It's dirty, battle worn. Got some battle scars there. Beautiful shield. And it's very very thick too. It's very thick plating shield protect the hunter from ballistic materials uh, one armor plate on the shield then you have his uh, fuel rod cannon uh, very nicely detailed I love the color the green color like radioactive um, the, the um, claws they actually go up for attack mode so they'll be able to shoot out the beam and then they can close back the right arm with the, the shield these actually open up and they're very they're actually pretty sharp so you know be careful around them they're actually very sharp and they close back like that and the cool thing is the head it, um, when you get the figure it's going to come in attack position but if you actually pull the head out it'll pop it out and give it kind of a longer longer hue I like that that's pretty cool but you know, it pops right back in the detail in this armor is just amazingly beautiful I, I love the hunters in the game they're just a very ferocious adversary all these spines they move so you can flex them if you want, even the ones on the neck, they move. Um, not much to say about this figure. Uh, the only problem I have with the figure is that the arm, where the shield, the shield armor, I don't know if you can see that, where the shield armor comes, you can't actually uh, hold the shield over like this. It has to be more of like that. But the cool thing is that you can actually position it where your cannon will rest right on it sort of not not too it's not a very nice pose but it, it'll work um, the figure stands very well due to its big feet 
but both sides of the foot move so you got the heel and toe and the ball joints are very rigid so they're not going to uh, they're not going to move on you when you're standing this guy up and also the back heel that moves as well so you can pose him in different ways um, the back armor like in the game it doesn't come off it's actually on the figure so you can't take it off to make the hunter look battle damage but you can see the little like golo worms I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I think it's like Golo. Uh, you can see those in there. Really cool. And the difference with the Halo 3 Hunter and the Halo 2 Hunter is actually that the, the the front belly actually has nice armor plating to it now, so you cannot actually shoot the front of the Hunter. You actually have to get behind him to deal the damaging blow. But very, very cool figure. I would absolutely recommend picking one or two of these bad boys up. If you're uh, a huge Halo fan like I am, I had a little problem uh, helping him stand when I first got him because he's, he's very top heavy because of the shield and the gun and just the body itself. But I'd like to um, show you just how big this figure is compared to the Master Chief. And an ODST. So this guy is huge. Master Chief stands about seven feet tall, so he's about eight, nine, almost ten feet tall, ten, twelve feet tall. So he's very battle ready. Um, compared to the ODST, who only comes up to his his leg, this hunter could, well, pretty much step on him and kill him, squash him like a bug. But um, I thought you guys would really appreciate the uh, size comparison here compared to the Master Chief um, figure and the ODST compared to the Hunter. Beautiful figure you guys. Pick one up from me. On a scale of 1 to 10 I would rate this perfect 10. Great playability, great uh, color, great detail, great um, uh, just give me a second, sorry. Uh, it's got 28 moving parts, um, so that's another big plus for this guy. Consider that the brute figures, they only have about 24, 26, something like that. So, pick one of these figures up, pick two up if you want. I actually got this at Toys R Us because nowhere around here sells them at all. Um, so you might want to try there. If you can't try there, try Spencer's. They might have them, but the one in my mall didn't, so I had to go to a different mall. But uh, yes, definitely pick one of these guys up. Two if you really want to show just how battle ready you are. And um, if you have any questions, just give me a little email and uh, make sure that you rate comment and subscribe on my videos guys so for right now this is Spartan Warrior 117 signing off